シャドルーの崩壊なるほど言ってみればここはそのモニュメントっていうところねそりゃ連中のしてたことは悪いことだそれは村の人間も皆分かっていただがこの村がシャドルなしでは成り立たなかったというのも事実わしが最後だそれでこの村は終わるねえおじいさんシャドルは本当にあれで終わったと思う降伏しろもはやシャドルーは壊滅した降伏さえすれば貴様にも正当な裁判を受ける権利は保証してやる思い上がるな触れさせはせん貴様らごときにこの身指一本触れさせはせんもちろん基地はくまなく捜索されたその結果ベガも四天王も基地と運命を共にしたとされシャドル事件は完全に収束したと全世界に喧伝されたそれと断定できる証拠は何一つそう何一つ発見されなかったのにもかかわらず発見されていないのよ連中が滅んだという証拠は何一つも知らせ知らせだ俺に必要なのは酒だたった一瓶の酒それだけが俺を生かしてくれるそうたったの一瓶で構わねえその一瓶の酒それが百本にも千本にもできる知らせでございますそうかするとまたこの仮面の世話になるのか美しさを隠す偽りのマスクよそれにしても大体ボディとはやはり私には到底理解の及ばぬ話この肉体の代わりなど一体この世界のどこにあると思う帰れ猛衆の果て肉体を取り替えてまで力にしがみつく者の,のことなど俺にはどうでもいいそれともこの胸の傷のうずきが激痛が貴様らに分かれとでも言うのか構わぬ所詮は仮の器今はまだ不完全な体で構わぬのだあの男あのボディーを手に入れるまでは野に咲く花が倒られもせずその美しさを誇らしげにできるのはそれはただ幸運であるというだけに過ぎないそうそしてそんな幸運は長くは続かないわかるわよねシャドル
Crazy. Not a trace of them left. Father, can you hear me up there? It's autumn again. These days, I'm just like an ordinary girl. It's a brand new life for me. Oh, it can get pretty crazy at times, but I'm really starting to like it. So this is my life. I do a little traveling on my days off. I enjoy the freedom, the peace, all that fighting. Those days seem like a dream to me now. When I open my eyes, the images disappear. All those memories. What's wrong with me? I waited so long for this. I just wanted an ordinary life. I know how you feel, but he's dead, plain and simple. I wish that you could admit that to yourself, just once. I'm calling off the search for the lieutenant. I will not reconsider. Surely he's... he's not dead yet! Sir, how can you just assume he's dead? No one's found Charlie's body! There are times, Major, when we need to move forward and leave the past behind where it belongs. In that case, I'll tender my resignation and search for him on my own. I'm sending you on a new mission, Guile. But I just told you, I... Here. At Charlie's funeral, his family asked me to pass this to you. I... Now, as for your new mission, there's a new player out there supplying terrorists with weapons. You're to check for a connection with Shadaloo. It can't be. Shadaloo was... I believe I just issued you an order. Hop to it, Major. Yes, sir! They had us all fooled. The army, the police, even Delta Red. They made us think we were in control. Shadaloo has been destroyed. That's what the world's governments announced. That's what everyone believed. Destroyed? Really? With the bodies of Bison and his three henchmen still undiscovered? Excuse me! Coming through! I'm a police officer! Let me through! I heard that one of the fighters who disappeared was the only son of the trainer. Tragedy, man. You know, this may just be a rumor, but I've heard that similar incidents are occurring all over the world. Because, you know, if that's the case... Father... I have to go. I've made up my mind. This is something I have to do. Just be careful. I'm sorry. How many years have you been gone, friend? I thought I'd avenged you, but the men who killed you have returned. And me? I'm still stuck in the cycle of causing others grief, thanks to my own selfish quest. That organization has cost more lives than anyone can count on their rise to power. They've killed cops, soldiers, God only knows how many civilians have fallen due to their actions. Not to mention all the martial artists that were kidnapped and murdered at the hands of Shadaloo's pet organization, S.I.N. Those men and women had children. They had families. They had friends. I'll make those bastards pay, Charlie. I'll destroy every last branch of their organization. I'll expose every evil act they've committed upon this earth. I promise, Charlie, their days are numbered. I thought I wanted this. But deep down, I think I knew this would happen, Father. I simply can't leave the fight behind me. It's the same for all of us. 
We don't sleep. We don't rest. We can't be stopped. All of us. We have to do this. We have to keep running and running forever! Sadness in my heart, the anger, the faint glimmer of hope that I keep inside. It's all real, and it's awakened again. Hey, let's go! You two stay here. It's too dangerous for civilians. Civilians? She looks pretty civil herself. Why don't you use these? Kyle? She goes. Had a feeling she'd go chasing some adventure before long. Uh, got a bad feeling about this. Something tells me that brother of mine is gonna follow her. Well, who do you suppose she's gone off to fight anywhere? Uh, must be a pretty big fish to be worth her while. I've never seen her lose to anyone around here, that's for sure. Whoever she's after, they must be crazy strong. What do you think, Yang? Smell an adventure here? <laughs> Don't worry about it, bro. I'm just gonna keep an eye on her and see what she's up to. Of course, if someone starts something, I'm happy to teach him a lesson. Or two. <laughs> and off he goes. Can't say I blame him. I'll admit I'm a little curious, too. After all, anyone worth Chun Li's time must be a heck of a fighter. I've only ever lost to Yun and her uncles. But there are bound to be even stronger warriors out there. Come to think of it. This could be the chance I've been waiting for. I'll finally get to test my strength for real. ミサクラ。今君ほどメディアを騒がせてる女性はいないと思うけど、格闘を始めたのはやっぱり夢になりたいから。わ。ボーイフレンドは何人？えっと、男子引きとはどういう関係？うーん。ところで本当に女子高生
さくらはもう決めてるのえいや私はまず卒業できるかっつう大問題がでもさくらには格闘っていう世界がちゃんとあるもんね子供の頃はいっぱい夢があったなでも結局どれも届きそうにないなりたいものよりなれるものを探しちゃうんだ夢を追っているさくらが羨ましいそんなことないよケイちゃんだってか私って夢を叶えてんのかな分かんないよそんなの自分がどこに向かってるのかも分かんないままただ突っ走って気がつけばこんなはずじゃないのにって落ち込んだりへこんだりの繰り返しでもでもさいつかきっとって思ってんだそう思えば絶対絶対届くんだ精一杯の気持ちでまた一歩昨日よりも大きく前に踏み出してそうなんだよねケイちゃんつまり我が最強流にかかればこれぐらいの試合など言うまでもなく鼻くそほじるがごとくのたやすほどやよよくわかりましたではミスさくらにとっての戦う意味というのはえそれはもちろん我が最強流の<笑>一体何でしょうはいえっと自分がどんな未来にいるのかそれを確かめるためです That's it, punk! You cheat! You pay the price! You're here to apologize? Well, it's too late. I ain't in a forgiving mood. Master Balrog, I have a message from you. <laughs> About damn time. We have a car waiting, sir. I'm gonna get paid for this, right? I don't do nothing for free. That's a lot of cash for a job like this. Coming from Bison, I'd expect something a little more interesting than keeping an eye on some doll. I don't know if he wants a new replacement body or what, but he's definitely up to something evil. That's for sure. Wait a second. He's spent an awful lot of time and money getting those dolls made. And if he's gone to the trouble of having me guard the damn things, I'd say those freaks must be worth some major cash. <laughs> I can almost smell the money now. If I can pull this off, I'll be on Easy Street forever. Money. And power. Hmm, what an ugly group they are. Good evening. Crashing a man's party is rather tasteless, you know. With all due apologies, sir, I have a message from him. He's begun, then. Both the Americans and Interpol are sniffing around here. <laughs> so he's here, and Interpol is where? I am so very beautiful. Hmm. If it isn't Bison's little toy, he goes to such great lengths for power, as if his current body weren't ugly enough. I must admit, I'll never understand the men like him. Still. I admit I'm intrigued by the idea of creating new bodies to inhabit. Too bad not even a god could reproduce a body as beautiful and graceful as my own. <laughs> 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 
You ugly creature, you. Soon your power will be mine. Then I can ensure that my beauty will live on forever. No, this is terrible. The river's been dammed up and the flow of water diverted. We tried to stop them, but it was no use. They pointed guns at us. Who did this? They had a symbol that looked like this. I just got a letter from Amy. She told me her father had to go away for work. You mean Gaia? She said he won't be back for a while. I bet she's really lonely. I must leave you for a while. I'm going to bring our water back. The men who robbed our village of water, they wore a symbol that resembles that of Shadaloo. We had thought them to be destroyed, yet I cannot shake the feeling that they still lurk in the shadows, weaving dark and evil plots, preparing for the moment when they will strike again. The power I possess is divine. It is not for mortal men to use for their own simple desires. Yet, I feel compelled to restore hope and vitality to my village by bringing the water back, no matter what the cost. Hear me, Agni, God of Fire. Watch over me as I in turn watch over those I love. Grant me the strength to vanquish evil. Hey there, little guy. Let's see if we can keep you dry for a bit. Where's your mother? I don't see any other dogs around. Hmm. No collar either. All alone, are you? I'll be back as soon as I figure out what Shadowloo is all about. Take care of the little one while I'm away. I'll return once my journey is complete. Then, I can give him a name, buy him a collar, and I... Then, I won't be alone anymore. Discharge confirmed. A sudden dispersion of charged particles followed by the requisite disturbance to the ionosphere. The origin has been narrowed down to the Amazonian basin. This is the third time in a game from another new location. No unusual solar flare spotted today either. The phenomenon is so localized. It has to be artificial in origin. Maybe it's an experiment or something. At any rate, the magnitude of this discharge seems larger than the others. Oh, it is. The good news is we've managed to get a fix on the origin point. Here's an image taken from a private satellite approximately five hours ago. Take a look. I don't see a thing. Of course, we all know it don't take much to alter photos these days. Right, Cammy? I'd have to agree there. And it goes beyond the surveillance photo. I can't say for certain that all of our data isn't being intercepted and altered as it comes in. But it's not just Delta Red that's affected either. Whoever's doing this has the wall pulled over the entire world's eyes. Something is out there. Something sinister operating from the shadows. But who could have the connections and reach to pull that off? Shadaloo, perhaps? But Shadaloo's history... Or so they say. I'm off then. The paperwork. We'll have to wait. That's right. The man you're looking for went missing three weeks ago. The family has requested a full investigation, but...
Well, you know how these things go. In a small town like this, you simply don't have the manpower. Of course, I feel sorry for the family, but investigations like that cost money and require personnel. So, he was famous back home, was he? You know, he used to come here to give martial arts lessons. Bottom line, word came down from the brass. My hands are tied. Is there something going on I should know about? I mean, Interpol visiting this little burg? What if I told you this was happening all over the world? Would that satisfy you? Judging by the look on your face, I'd say we hit another dead end. Don't let it get to you. We're bound to find something eventually. Boy, you sound like a cop. Ever consider spending your time off with your wife? I thought you gave up police work yourself, and here you are doing this. <laughs> Birds of a feather, huh? <laughs> You're still not over Charlie, are you? I only heard about the string of disappearances by coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my head once I did. That's when I called you. Figured you might know something. Fighters from around the world disappearing seemed to be up your alley. It all started last year. Famous martial artists just started vanishing. The only thing they have in common is that each is considered the top practitioner in his or her respective art. That and absolutely no evidence is left behind following any of their abductions. It'd be easy to assume an open and shut case of kidnapping, but there have been no ransom demands. That was suspicious enough to get Interpol involved. And that's when I put the badge back on. Actually, there are forces within Interpol that want this investigation stopped. They say there's no evidence to link the disappearances. They consider this a waste of resources. <laughs> well, no naysayer is gonna stop us, right? Once you start talking about fighters from around the world, well, that just brings a lot of stuff floating back up to the surface. Like Shadowloo. There's no evidence that Bison and his men are really dead. Oh, I hope to God they are. Still, I won't believe it till I see it. Not after what I've been through. I know what they're capable of. They're still alive. They know it. And if they're still alive, they're probably behind this, right? <laughs> Understand your disappointment, sir. I'm sorry. No matter. This weapon's true value won't become evident until we manage to shrink it down and make it commercially viable. For now, let's consider this but a preview to drum up interest. Let it bring people to our little party, loosen their pocketbooks a bit. Don't you agree? Well, if we're to perfect the device, we'll need him. Ah, uh, I know this one. He practices an art that was initially developed for assassination. But there should be another that is even more powerful than him. We aren't after him for his fighting style. You see, if our theories are correct, he possesses a power within that, if awakened, eclipses even that of the other. That power is called Satsui no Hato. And this power would allow us to bring the Bliss Project to fruition? Yes, sir. Satsui no Hado. The murderous intent. Interesting.
10, you have the usual management meeting. The VP of European Operations has a teleconference scheduled for 11.30. Representatives from the Pacific Rim Expedition will be here to I'm sure you're busy, Mr. Masters, but allow me to introduce myself. My name's Maya. I'm a freelance journalist. I'm sorry, but all interviews must be scheduled in advance. I'd like to get a comment regarding the rising price of crude oil. What is the Masters Group doing to combat this? <laughs> Didn't you hear the lady? No appointment, no interview. Hmm, Ken Masters. The greatest American fighter and top dog of the business world. I have to say, Mr. Masters, I had you pegged all wrong. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected you to get so worked up over a sudden visitor. I thought you fighters were supposed to be more laid back. <laughs> That's cute. You're not used to rejection, are you? <laughs> I wonder if your friend Ryu is in the habit of turning people away if they don't have an appointment. You may have studied alongside him, but I'd say you're worlds apart. I'll be going now. I'll be sure to make an appointment next time so your precious rules are protected. Ryu. What are you up to these days, friend? Still lost in your own head? We both knew that our last battle wouldn't be the one to settle the score. That fight can only take place once we've both truly found ourselves. I know that the Satsui no Hado lurks within you like cancer, tempting you to throw away your humanity for unlimited power. But you managed to make even that burden almost noble. You know, Ryu, I have trouble even relating to you as a fighter these days. I'm in a whole different world now. Career, family, don't get me wrong. It's not like they're a burden. Still, the more I live this life, the more I forget what it means to be a warrior. Time just keeps passing, and I feel like I'm running in place. <laughs> Listen to me go on about my stupid problems. Whatever. What's the point? I suppose I've always seemed kind of trivial to a guy like you, Ryu. After all, I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I didn't have to work for this. It's me. About today's schedule. Squeeze in as much as you can. I'm ready to work. I think we got it. This is definitely where the energy discharge took place. So they did alter the images. Well, this isn't a natural depression, that's for sure. Looks like something heavy was sitting here. And jeez, look at all the dead animals, eh? You see them on the way out here? Bag them up. Let's take a few corpses for analysis. Captain! What's the matter? The ground here felt a bit soft, so I thought I'd do some digging to see why. Human bodies. How long must you continue to resist, boy? Until my last breath. Why do you resist the power within? I don't desire power. I have my sight set higher than that. What is it you seek, then? Ah, but you have no answer. Seeking anything but power is foolishness of the highest order. The blood flowing through your veins calls out to you. Answer it. Answer it with your life. No! Then I shall murder you myself! 
This mundane world is of no concern to us. We grow stronger by consuming human life. Enough! <laughs> I don't know anything about my birth. My earliest memories are of Master Gotetsu and Master Gokin. I remember Akuma training with them. He was strong. Stronger than the others. All he cared about was power. Then one day, he murdered Master Gokin. I must defeat Akuma. However, I can allow myself to become like him in the process. But what can I do? All my blood and sweat and training brings me no closer to finding my true purpose. Keeping my urges under control takes all the power I can muster. I don't know how long I can resist. Ken! I'll just be a minute. Thanks. You're Eliza Masters. I interviewed your husband the other day. He's a great man. You saw Ken? How was he? Did he seem to be in good spirits? Oh, I mean, he's just been so busy lately. I don't really get to see him so much. Yeah. You feel like a cup of coffee or something? Just us girls? Delta Red is on the case. Apparently, there's a series of large-scale secret experiments occurring all over the world. Yeah, Cammy hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> That's right. We found ten so far. And it gets worse. The victims' identities came as quite a surprise. And a surprise it was. I don't know how or why, but the fighters we're tracking down ended up dead. They'd been abandoned in a shallow grave in the middle of a jungle. But Kami didn't just call to give us a shock. Even if they determined the bodies to be those of the missing fighters, not even Delta Red Intelligence can figure out just how they got there. The big picture is still a mystery. Kami, about those animal corpses you collected, we've examined them thoroughly and... This is just incredible! Never seen anything like... Get on with it. Oh, okay. Are you ready for this? Some of the victim's cells seem to have actually exploded. It's as if the moisture inside of them was suddenly heated, uh, causing it to boil. It's, it's freaky stuff. I just I haven't actually reported this up the chain of command just yet. <laughs> for some reason, I get the feeling it'd be swept under the rug if I did. The Army and the FBI are suspiciously reluctant to help. I don't have connections in the CIA, but I imagine they're in the same boat. If even Interpol and Delta Red's intelligence is being manipulated and controlled behind the scenes, there must be a huge organization responsible for all this. To tell the truth, we did have an investigation going at one point. I even had some leads, but... We'll get to the bottom of this. Too many people have been hurt already. Oh, what a beautiful doll, madam. Thank you. Isn't it just adorable? A friend gave it to me. She's a journalist. Well, I bet your husband will think it's cute as a button. He's so busy these days. I hardly ever see him. Still, we should talk soon.
Contact your boss. Right now! I've got a message for him. I don't appreciate being toyed with. You're gonna have to show a little more faith. You're regarded as a capable soldier. Is my speaking directly to you not sufficient to show my trust in you? If you do trust me, you'll call off your lapdogs and let me operate in peace so I can concentrate. I can do that. But are you sure you're barking up the right tree? I distinctly recall ordering you to track down Ryu, not Ken Masters. The time it would take to blindly search for a wandering vagabond like Ryu is a luxury I can't afford. The fact that you have so many others on the case tells me you're aware of that much. What we have to do is wait for him to show up. If he's going to stay in touch with anyone, it's Masters. Their friendship and rivalry run deep. I'm sorry, friend. If I'd have died before you, perhaps my body could have sustained you a bit longer. All of mankind holds a power within. The power of life. This force is fragile, but eternal. Life begets more life, and the cycle continues. This force, this power, is what drives it all. But what is power? Looks like an ordinary ruined castle at first glance. But security's too tight for that to be the case. Only one way to find out for sure. <laughs> Missing American karate champ. That's enough. Sonic. What is this place anyway? It looks like a laboratory. But what are they researching? They're on to us. We'd better move. All right, let's go. Chun Li! Give me a sec. So we lost another one. Just what was going on there anyway? And who's responsible? Clearly, these fighters are being used in some kind of strange experiments. Boiling liquid, expanding cell, explosion. Bleece. Exploding cells? Gads of dead animals in the Amazon exhibiting that sort of damage. I'm no scientist. This stuff's way over my head. Do you suppose there's a connection to the missing fighters? Oh my god. Ryu! What? It can be postulated that the completion of the Bleece project hinges on the system harnessing the Satsui no Hado, a power that lies dormant in this particular subject. Without him and his power, Bleece can never achieve its full potential. Harnessing the Satsui no Hado? 
madness. Well, at least we know now that Ryu is going to be their next target. Let's get moving. We have to find him before they do. But how are we supposed to find him? Ugh. He never stays in one place for long. Well, if anyone knows where Ryu is... It's Ken. That's right! I bet he can find him! Wait. What if we're not the only ones to come to that conclusion? <sighs> oh. Hey, baby. <laughs> For a second there, I thought my secretary followed me home. What's up? Are you okay? Never mind. You look so tired. <sighs> you know, we really haven't talked lately, have we? I'm sorry, baby. I haven't forgotten about you. Well, who are you trying to forget then? Huh? You. The you standing in front of me right now. You're not the Ken Masters I fell in love with. When I first met you, you used to be so laid back and carefree. You were always smiling. But you've changed. You've gotten so melancholy, so serious. It's almost like you're trying to chase someone out of your heart. Tell me what's going on. I think you give me way too much credit. I was never carefree. I was always serious. Is that what you really want to say? No. I just... Stay here. <laughs> huh? Who's there? Ow! What is wrong with you people? What the? Sakura? That was a pretty rude welcome, you know. I came all this way to see you, but seriously, I got treated like a common burglar or something. And by the way, they so started it. Well, I should hope so. That's what I pay them for. You did sneak in, you know. Oh, God, I am uptight. Huh? I ran straight here from the airport, so I'm a little later than I'd expected. Anyway, I think you should hire some strong security guards, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess this place is pretty safe since you're here, Ken Sean. Anyway. To what do I owe the pleasure of your unannounced visit, Sakura? <clears throat> well, I'm trying to track Ryu-san down. Ryu? Please tell me where he is! Look, I don't know where he is. Heck, I figure his stalker ought to know better than anyone. Well, I don't. That's why I came here! So deal! So, why do you need to see him all of a sudden? Hello. From Chung Lee. Put her through. Hey, long time no see. What's up? You're calling pretty late. Oh, you did? <laughs> Sorry. I've been really busy lately. Uh, I told my secretary to only let business calls through. I'm at home. Yeah? <laughs> You're looking for you. Uh. I've got no idea. Here? Now? <laughs> nah, it's cool. You can come by, but I'm a little busy right now. We'll talk when you arrive. <laughs> Jeez. Apparently, I'm Ryu's personal assistant now. Um, Kensan? Yeah? Have you heard about the disappearances? The fighters being kidnapped? What? So you haven't heard? Famous martial artists from all over the world are vanishing. You really didn't know about it? I figured all fighters would have heard about it by now. <sighs> I've just been so busy lately. Tell me all about it. What's going on?
<laughs> what do we got here? You some kind of karate man or something? Yeah. <laughs> something like that. I thought so. You know, I got a friend who's into that. He lives around here. You know him? He's the U.S. karate champ. <laughs> Actually, I do know him. We've sparred before. Your friend is quite a fighter. Sure is. Wasn't enough to help him. He went missing all of a sudden last year. Haven't heard from him since. Left behind a young wife. She moved on. Found a new man and got the heck out of Dodge. I haven't given up looking for him, though. I really don't know all the details. No one knows what happened to the victims or where they are. The rumor just started circulating pretty recently. From what I hear, though, the disappearances started last year. All the victims are really famous. No amateurs. Everybody's talking about it lately. It's big news. I hadn't heard. That's not true. I just wasn't listening. Damn it! That must be what Chung Lee was getting at on the phone. If she's involved, this is no ordinary kidnapping case. Something's up. That's why I'm so worried about Ryu-san! I don't know where he is or what he's up to or anything. He's my friend, too. Chung Lee and the others should be here soon enough. We can figure out what to do when they arrive. Looks like I won't be in the office for a while. It's me. A truck driver? Huh? Karate man? Ryu gave him my number. <clears throat> okay, put him through. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is Ken Masters. Uh huh. Oh. So you're looking for your missing friend. And Ryu told you that I might know something, right? So, where did you meet Ryu anyway? I've located Ryu. Get everything ready. Begin preparations for Plan B, just in case. <laughs> Chung Li, listen, we found out where Ryu is. It turns out he's a lot closer than you think. What am I doing here? I guess the nostalgia of hearing about a former opponent got the better of me. And now, here I am, chasing ghosts. He left his family behind when he disappeared. I couldn't imagine him doing something like that. <laughs> Who are you? So, we finally meet face to face. I'd like to test your abilities if you don't mind. I suppose you're feeling a little confused right now. I would be, but I've known about you for a long time. <laughs> you know, I was really hoping to meet you under better circumstances. Oh, wow! Don't fight her. She's testing you, trying to bring out your true power. I don't know who you are, but I know what you want. Kemi, stop! She's too strong for you! What? Quite a fashion statement, no. There's only one like it, and it's mine. <laughs> <laughs>
There's a lot at stake here. I'll do what I have to to win. Kimmy, wait! <laughs> What'll it be, Ryu? This poor girl's about to die. Aren't you going to save her? <laughs> Don't do it! If you fight now! Make your choice! Stop! Gonna kill me. So, this is the Satsui no Hado. Beautiful. His power's off the charts. He can't be captured in this state. At least I got some data for analysis. Kami's condition is stabilized. Luckily, none of her vital organs were injured. <sighs> this is my fault. I shouldn't have let her go ahead of us by herself. Okay, tell me everything you guys have figured out so far. We managed to get our hands on a research brief detailing a new weapon. The report is addressed to an emerging arms manufacturing corporation called SIN. SIN? I've heard of them. They've grown like a weed for the past few years. But there's all sorts of rumors linking them to crime syndicates. I'm pretty sure their CEO is named Seth. Seth... 
something. This is SIN's latest weapon. It's codename Bleas. The weapon isn't chemical, biological, or nuclear. It's powered by energy found within the human body. This spiritual energy is what you might call key. The Bleas device provides a method of harnessing human energy to cause a cyclical chain reaction. This energy is artificially extracted from the subject and amplified via the device. The resultant pulse resonates within the victim, causing the mitochondria to overflow with excess kinetic energy. The moisture within living tissue begins to boil, causing an expansion that detonates the cells from within. What a fantastic invention it is. It uses the energy inside living things against the very form of life from whence it came. It's clean, it's simple, it's elegant. When this device is shrunken down for commercial manufacturing, it will only become a bigger threat. Once miniaturized, the device can actually be implanted inside subjects, allowing them to harness their key to cause massive destructive effects. The subject can easily plant themselves in any crowd and be undetected. The implications this could have on terrorism are frightening. It can be thought of as a way to augment the natural key energy we all hold within. Essentially, it could give anyone powers that resemble the Satsui no Hado. A new breed of undetectable assassins will rain destruction down upon civilization. The missing fighters were used as guinea pigs for their research. Their mastery of ki made them the perfect fodder for their tests. SIN's goal is to get their hands on Ryu, who they regard as the ultimate test subject. I cannot overstate my supreme disappointment. You had Ryu in your sights, yet you come back to me without even a single shred of data to further our research. Betrayal saddens me. How do you suppose I should deal with this sadness? Maya, was it? Plan B was devised precisely for situations such as this. That said, the plan will require a few adjustments. If we cause the Satsui no Hado to manifest itself in Ryu again, we won't be able to touch him. We know that now. Therefore, I propose that the CEO himself grace us with his participation. You strike me as a curious man. I'm sure you'd like a chance to see what Ryu is capable of. First hand. And how are you today, Ken Masters? That voice. You're that Maya woman. You remembered. I'm honored. Listen, I'm planning a fabulous party aboard a boat. You'll be there, won't you? Cut the games. Who are you? Why did you fight Ryu? Do you work for SIN? So you'll come? I mean, your wife's here already. May as well join her, right? <laughs> Eliza! No, I didn't even notice she was gone. Tell me what you want. It's yours. What I want? Quit screwing around. You kidnapped her. I know it. She wouldn't just leave without telling me. Well, you're just a little know-it-all, aren't you? How well do you really know your wife? How many hours did you spend talking with her this week? Would minutes be more appropriate? Didn't you notice anything on your mantle that wasn't there before? <laughs> Doll, isn't it? What are you getting at? Your wife is my guest, Ken Masters. She came here of her own free will. Fine. So I just have to show up at your little shindig, right? That's all you want? Well, that's not all I want. You're going to bring Ryu along for the festivities. 
Do I make myself clear? Damn it! They want Ryu in exchange for Eliza. No! If I hadn't beaten up your security guards! It's not your fault. This one is all me. So, what's the plan? I doubt the police would be any use to us. And we can't just hand Ryu over to them. You got that right! Ryu isn't going anywhere! I'll rescue Eliza myself! No. I'll go. Ryu. If they're after my power, then the only way to put a stop to their plan is to keep it under control, right in front of them, so they know I can do it. Can you pull that off? You just worry about Eliza. Hmm. Sounds good. You can count on our help, too. <laughs> Have a seat. You tricked me. <laughs> Hold it right there. Who are you two? The agency sent us to help with the party. We're the entertainment! <laughs> Wait a second. You sure this ain't some kind of mistake? I didn't hear nothing about hiring no girls. The only mistake is you two not knowing when to shut up! Well then. Ready for a little extra credit? called in a favor to an old Coast Guard buddy. Help is on the way. In the meantime, teach those goons a lesson. Let's split up. I'll go after Eliza. You take care of the bad guys. I'll be fine here on my own. You two go join the others. Well, look what the cat dragged in. I suppose whoever's fighting the guards right now are the same ones who stole the data from our facility? Not that I care, mind you. No matter who else you brought with you, my intuition tells me that Ryu's here. That's all that matters. Where's Eliza? Take a hike, Blondie. I don't need you anymore. Where is Eliza? Out of my way! <laughs> Come on! I'll beat an answer out of you. Your wife is right inside that room. <clears throat> Ryu might possess an incredible power, but you're no slouch yourself. Good luck, Mr. Masters. Sorry to keep you waiting, babe. <laughs> it took a little while to get dressed. <laughs> Love the red. That outfit always did look great on you. <laughs> Let's go. This place gives me the creeps. Is it okay for me to exert myself like that? I mean... Would running hurt the baby? <laughs> when 
did you find out? Jeez, I didn't even know. I'm sorry. I just wanted to surprise you. I'm so sorry. No. It's my fault for not giving you a chance to bring it up. Hell of a sense of timing you got there, though. I love you so much, Eliza. I just realized the strength that can come from wanting to protect someone you love. I guess that's my special power. I don't need Satsui no Haro or anything else. Not when I have so much to look forward to. <laughs> You're gonna be a godfather, Ryu. A good portion of life is spent wondering why. There are all manner of things that defy understanding. Most of the time, it is difficult to determine where to begin looking for reason. No matter the circumstances, your presence here was not inevitable. On top of that, my presence here was far from a foregone conclusion. Yet here we are. Why do you suppose that is? My apologies for the late introduction. I am Seth. I simply could not resist the chance to test out the legendary power you possess, myself. You struggle against the temptation of that power. It must be torture. Some situations faced head-on. Surely you, who are most at home in the ring, find this power inside to be a great temptation. <laughs> and yet you struggle in vain against it, even as it seeks to control you utterly. Why do you fight it? Why? Keep it inside and you will die! Your death will garner nothing! It will be without meaning! Uh, Stay back! Uh, Power only has meaning if it is put into action. It defines you. Power like that is what rules the world. Everyone seeks power, seeks to grow in strength. But this goal is out of reach of ordinary men. The poor seek riches, the ugly, beauty. We compare ourselves to others and seek to cover our own inadequacies to find peace of mind. The mere existence of those who are better than us becomes intolerable. We fight in retaliation. If beauty is not enough, we use money. If money does not work, we resort to violence. This energy is what powers our world. It is essential. All I seek is to help this natural process along. This destructive force begotten from conflict, this power that everyone lusts for, I will spread it over the world with but a touch. It is like a well that can never run dry. A precious mineral flowing from an inexhaustible mine! <laughs> this power will be mine. Stubborn mule. 
You avert your eyes from the power within and refuse to fight. That may offer you a modicum of empty solace when faced with your pitiful frailty, but no more. Pathetic. Despite the power you possess, you will become a disposable test subject no different from the others. I'm not through fighting, and I do not run from the power I hold within. I, too, seek strength. That's what has driven me all this way. And yet, I never truly understood just what power is, or what it means to be strong. Your words did help me to understand one thing. The power I seek is nothing like what you describe. The power humans possess, that is the source of and destination for all of life. The power you're after is the opposite of this. It can only destroy that which is good. To seek it invites your own demise. That is why I fight. I fight to rid the world of such diabolical power. I'll show you what true strength is. It is the courage to stand up in the face of evil and emerge victorious. <laughs> What is this nonsense? Power is power! There is no difference! Here's your answer. this happen? You actually hurt me? My body? They're getting away! I bring you a message from Lord Bison. You put on a fantastic show. You! He's been watching you all along. He has another message for you as well. SIN's success has come only through the manipulation of Shadowloo working behind the scenes to ensure your good fortune. He wanted you to know that. Ken, did you see that? I... I saw it all right, bro. That was amazing. You really let your true power shine through. 
<laughs> I can feel it in you too, Ken. This power. Thanks for coming to see me off, Ken san. I really wanted to stick around until Ryu's song gets better. But tickets are really cheap right now, so I had to jump at the chance. I am a student, you know. <laughs> I'm not made of money. Oh, that's right! My friend gave me some chocolate she got on a trip to Hawaii. Want some? They're really good! Even with all that evidence, we're right back where we started. The cover-up is so vast, even the dispatch of the Coast Guard has been officially denied. It feels like we're being treated as the enemy, instead of the real threat. The abduction and murder of the fighters, the connection to Shadaloo, it all goes unpunished. The evil is still out there. <sighs> Bison, you may think you have the upper hand. The truth is that S.I.N. has been manipulating Shadaloo. Fool. It's me. About that new power Ryu displayed for us the other day. Say no more. I'll resume the search right away, sir. Excellent job, Crimson Viper. Your report was more than satisfactory. Keep this up, and we should know everything there is to know about S.I.N.'s activities. Undercover work is no picnic. We know you've been through hell already. But there is simply no one else as suited to this job as you. And please understand, once the C.I.A. has the information we need, we can bring S.I.N. to justice. Don't worry about me, sir. I understand my mission. What's the matter, Ryu? Hmm? That's just that bird. Oh. Looks like he got separated from the flock. Yeah. Maybe. I guess this is goodbye. Thanks. But... Why are you headed out the train anyway? I mean, you've already proven you can keep this Hatsui no Haru under control. That may have been an exception. I'm not sure I can do it every time. It took an incredible amount of concentration. <laughs> I'm still nowhere near finished with my training. Jeez. I guess there's no arguing with you. Go if you have to. Go to places the rest of us can only dream of. I wish you well. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll meet again. I'm looking forward to seeing how strong you've become by then. You and I may travel down different roads, but our life force is one and the same. I'm sure our paths will lead to the same destination. Ah, oh, we'll meet again. I guarantee it.
Never imagined it would take this long to regain consciousness. Ryu and Ken must presume me to be dead. It matters not. Their path is a righteous one. How I look forward to our reunion. Ryu is completely dedicated to his journey of self-improvement. Ken shows great flexibility in his dealings with what comes his way. Their personalities could not be more different. Yet they got along so swimmingly during their training. After so many years, their relationship remains strong. <laughs> Yet I draw no satisfaction from simply observing them. How I long to engage them in the ring once again. It is time to go. I've heard tell of a myriad of young fighters emerging these days. And I also hear that a tournament is being held to assemble the world's greatest. Perhaps this will give me a chance to see how far my dear pupils have advanced. I shall test their strength myself. Chan Li, I hear you're a detective. Let me ask you something. Have you found any new evidence? I... I have no memory of my past. I was all alone. The commander of a band of mercenaries was kind enough to take me in. He was like a father to me. But he died in an accident not too long ago. Now I have no memories and no family. But I do remember one thing. Back when he was alive, the commander always told me to stay away from something called Shadowloo. From what I can gather, that lab where I was found was actually a Shadowloo base. A Shadowloo base? Are you sure? Here. A world fighting tournament? surging through my whole body. So, let's go kill something. <laughs> That's my girl.
that might have been overkill. Damn it, she's alive! You're not getting away from me, bitch! <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> What's going on here? Why aren't you inside? Who do you think you are? Agent Chen Li with Interpol. Why don't you bring us up to speed, officer? And keep it short. Yes, ma'am. What we know is there's a group of armed men held up inside the park. We managed to get most of the civilians out, but there's still a lot of people trapped inside the building. Then get a SWAT team out here. It's just... HQ told us to stay out of it. They told you what? We have reason to believe that the men inside are former SIN operatives. We figure SIN will go after them with or without our help. We're just not equipped to intervene in something like this. I'm sorry, sir. Something's not right. This is bigger than we thought. SIN. It looks like we were right about them. Here, where are the others? Oh no! <gasps> hey, you all right? I thought you were that crazy bitch. What happened? Did you take care of her or what? Wow, you boys can't get enough of me. <laughs> I promise I'll make this quick. It won't hurt a bit. <laughs> Looks like your little toy doesn't work on me. You're going to have to do better than that. Stay away from me! You're crazy! Get any closer and I'll start taking out hostages! Yeah, like I care. These people are worthless. <laughs> but you, you're worth even less. No! Hold on, please! <laughs> no! I'm begging you! Never seen anything like that. <laughs> so much power. Come on, let's head inside. This is terrible. So many people didn't make it out. Chun Li, leave the civilian evacuation to Cami and I. You go on ahead. We'll catch up as soon as we can. I got it. Chun Li, stay safe. Power. 
I won't reveal any of SIN secrets. That includes that weird eye of yours. Please, I promise. Come on, I'm begging you. I don't want to die. Well, I guess you should have thought of that before. <laughs> because that's the part I like best. <laughs> And good night. Hold it right there! I'm done here. You can start cleaning up. Enough! Who are you? That's none of your business, sweetie. Although, you could beat it out of me. Well, the eye is still just a prototype. I don't want to waste its power on someone like you. Hmm. You might be worth my time after all. lives you've destroyed give me a break sweetie there's no such thing as innocent it must suck to be so stupid shut up Just get these urges. <laughs> Piece of junk. Chun <gasps> and just when we were starting to have some fun, huh? Guess you get to live for now. We'll do this later. Chun Li! Who was that? Is she okay? She needs a doctor. Cammy, Chun Li. There's a woman out there with a child. Right, I'll take care of it. Seriously, running out of power in the middle of battle? This bionic crap sucks! I'm quite impressed. You beat that Chinese Interpol agent within an inch of her life, and that wasn't even part of your orders. Thank you for the data. Yeah, whatever. I wasn't impressed. I hate doing things halfway. I see you enjoy finishing your fights. The sign of a true martial artist. Finishing? You got that right. I was hoping to have some fun. I hate walking away before someone's dead. So, how did it perform? It performed well enough. It was awesome, actually. But until I can take it all the way, I won't say it's perfect. It's a prototype, my dear. We went into this experiment knowing that. No, these results are spectacular. Beyond expectations. Thank you. Don't worry. We'll step up development on the Geomancy engine. You'll have more fun soon enough. You may draw whatever salary you wish. 
If you want something beyond money, just ask. There isn't much I'm incapable of providing. Please, you're going to bore me to death talking about money. I came here to have fun and that's it. As long as I'm having fun, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so, when's it gonna be ready? I'm already itching to cause more trouble. Soon. Who was that woman? Who could do that to Chun Li? The men inside are former SIN operatives. We're just not equipped to intervene in something like this. I'm sorry. Whoever she was, she's affiliated with SIN. <sighs> but that power of hers, it's more than they're capable of. S-I-N. Damn it! Seriously? You just barely got out of a coma. Take a break. Working from bed, are we? Yeah, I can't help it. I want this over with. I suppose that explains the urgent request for a laptop. Puzzle Fighter is addicting. Do try and show the poor girl some respect. She was injured in the line of duty. <laughs> That's weird. What's that? It's that girl. What's she planning? Take a look at that. They're headed for the Sosna Research Lab. Research Lab? I'm getting the coordinates now. Let's go. There's no telling what that psychopath is up to. I'll keep an eye on the lab from here. If anything happens, I'll get in touch. Good luck, and be careful. Right. the eye feel why don't you ask me after I've had a chance to use it <laughs> very well you are headed toward an old Shadaloo installation known as the Sosna lab there you will find 12 female assassins to deal with <sighs> females huh Bison's personal elite guard forgotten following his defeat You'll have fun. I am told they plan to assassinate me. I wish to see them suffer. Your new toy should make their capture very entertaining for you. I want them alive, no exceptions. <laughs> I guess it'll make a decent warm-up. <laughs> some new 
data from the server. Roger. Go ahead. Looks like our mystery girl is a Korean national named Judy Han. Ten years ago, she was barely 15 years old and considered the preeminent practitioner of Taekwondo. Her father was a lawyer, famous for prosecuting organized crime operations. Apparently, he tried going after Shadaloo. Because of this, he, his wife, and Judy were kidnapped right out of the family car. Weeks later, Judy, and only Judy, managed to make it out alive. Albeit, she both lost her parents and her left eye during the ordeal. just doesn't add up. What? You saw her. That girl was definitely not blind in one eye. Oh, boy. Go on. Her left eye was glowing during the fight. So they gave her a new eye, did they? There's no telling what she could be capable of. Right. We better hurry. <laughs> to be some kind of joke? I thought you were Bison's elite personal guard. Was he expecting an attack from a litter of puppies? <laughs> Just two left. Hey! I'm all warmed up! Come out, come out, wherever you are! I thought your elite guard checks would be a lot more fun than this. Man. It's right up ahead, Cammy. Right. Ready when you are. I know you're here. Come on out. Disappointment in here. Hold it! Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> You're nothing but robots programmed to follow orders. My fault for having high hopes, I guess. <laughs> I think I'll let you die before you know what hit you. How does that sound? <laughs> are you? <laughs> I guess this won't be a total waste after all. <laughs> Would you look at this? Looks like we've got a little family reunion. I bet we have a lot in common. After all, you were a member of this little fan club once. I bet you killed tons of people. And you still think you're the good guys. Makes me want to puke. Ooh, my bad. This belongs to you, right? Nice 
nice move. You know how to get a girl all hot and bothered, don't you? I guess I'll have to return the favor, huh, soldier boy? You're Juri, right? What's your connection to Bison and SIN? None of your damn business! <laughs> Quite a workout here. I admit it, I'm having fun. Shut up. I'm sorry. I'll come back for you, I promise. Tell me about your eye now, or do you need some more? What is that power? None of your business, soldier boy. Guile! I know what it is. The eye generates a form of artificial key energy. It's too dangerous. It's going to consume you. No one asked your opinion, Missy. Hey, where's that Chinese chick you brought with you last time? Oh, did she die on you? <laughs> that hurt. That hurt. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. signature we saw when she destroyed the amusement park. I think she's going to unleash her power again. Guile, look out! I'm on it. You guys sure know how to keep a girl entertained. See ya! Guile! Damn it. I'm sorry, Kemi. Don't worry about me. Just go after Judy. I'm counting on you. <laughs> starting to get on my nerves. Really? Do you know the sort of things I do to girls who get on my nerves? Judy! Where do you plan on taking the elite guard? Let them go! If you're sure you're... Then take it! 
Take your shot! Oh, come on, sweetie. You know it's hopeless, don't you? Give up right now, and I'll let you live. If not... I promise I'll do enough damage to bring us crashing to the ground. Use your head, will ya? store for these other lovely ladies. I get to teach my new SIN guinea pigs how worthless they truly are. How dare you! And don't try to pretend you're any better than them. You're not worth the dirt from under my nails. Still, no one should have to die alone. How about you and your friend here? Think about where being a good girl has gotten you. Bye, my ass! <laughs> Yes, of course. I'll put in the request right away. I'm sorry. Jody got away. It's all right. I'll see ya. It doesn't make sense. The information we got was almost too good. I don't know. Who has access to stuff like this? Let her get away, huh? Oh well, I hope you at least got some good intel. I'm counting on you to keep her in your sights, Miss Detective. <laughs> of the eye. Thanks, Lutz. You're only interested in having a good time, aren't you? Bring me the engine when you return. I'll have it calibrated. <laughs> Something fun is on the horizon. I can just feel it. Shadaloo and S.I.N. are gonna face off. I can't wait for the sparks to fly. <laughs> It's gonna be a bloodbath. And a bloodbath is what I came to see.
up and get me out of here. How long must you keep me in prison? I'm sorry. Please, just wait a little while longer, Lord Bison. This next body will be even more powerful. It will be able to handle the full extent of your psycho power. Get me out now! I don't care what body I have to use. Anything will do. It's only a matter of time before I make his body my permanent home anyway. Yes, sir. You heard him. Get moving. Begin psycho power and fusion at once. We're bringing Lord Bison back! You are merely a gear in the machine that is my ultimate ambition. I was willing to leave you to your own devices as long as I had a use for you. But I never imagined you would go this far. And that vile woman. To think you managed to add such a valuable pawn to your arsenal. I have little patience for betrayal. I will crush you under the heel of my boot like the vile insect you are. <laughs> you will regret the day you decided to betray me. The marionette who thinks he is a real poor. You have forgotten your place. Many years ago, after he was defeated. I... I can't recall what happened to me. I just don't know. When I awoke, I was already outside the base. Soul power is the one weapon you cannot control. It is your weakness. And it will be your undoing. No matter how many times I attempt to read the future, the answer is always the same. Only the full card can stand up to him. It is the card of freedom and beginnings, the card of reckless heroism. I may be able to stop him temporarily, but I simply cannot destroy him. For I hold the same power inside me that Bison has. The fate of this card lies in the hands of one man. But he cannot act until the stars align to herald his coming. I can only protect him, guide him, offer aid in his quest to destroy Bison. This will be my last mission. I'm sorry, Phelong, but we've got to put production of Street Tournament 2 on hold. Man. Why do our staff members keep getting attacked anyway? Yeah, about that. Right before filming, the script underwent a major overhaul. The original villains were an international crime syndicate. They got changed to terrorists. Right. The secret organization got changed from a renegade criminal dictatorship to a gigantic corporation. They supply weapons, then control the ensuing ethnic violence, manipulating stocks and laundering cash to mold the world to their liking. The sponsors had serious reservations about the script and threatened to pull funding. According to the producer, the previous movie got the green light because the organization in question was no longer active at the time. I see. The connection's obvious. Let's see. We have the men who attacked our production crew. Someone pressured the film's sponsors to pull out. And the scandal resulting from the script that they're a little too close to home. They all point to the same thing. The arms company SIN and its devious CEO, Seth. You use intimidation and even murder to get your way. But I'll put a stop to that. I'm sorry, sir. Please don't worry about me. I simply cannot cower and hide in the shadows when I can do something about this. I 
promise I'll return in time for the shoot. Let the crew know I'll be back. Hmm. Damn. Now's just not the time. Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. Isn't that the postcard that came this morning? Hey, are you hiding something from me? No way! Oh! It's from Ryu! Ready to keep your promise for a rematch. I mean, of course I'm just gonna tell him to wait. Now's not the time. I was just about to write him back. We're talking about Ryu here. How would you get in touch with him? Uh... It might be faster to just go see him. You just got invited to another tournament, right? Why not stop by and get a few matches in while you're at it? Eliza... Honey... It's fine. The baby's not coming for a little while yet. Just be sure to tell him I said hi, okay? As long as you're here, Mama, I don't mind living in town. I can still do my street fight. And the best part is that I get to be with my mama. But I'm sad. Why am I sad? Because my being here has only made things hard on you. Everyone stares at us, and they talk bad behind our backs. That's why I have to leave. I can't be here anymore. Wait for me, mama. I'll come back, but I won't be an embarrassment to you anymore. Another worldwide fighting tournament. Yeah, they didn't let me in the last one. Without a big star like me to get everyone pumped up, I bet the crowd was bored out of their minds. Right, Jimmy? Not exactly. You were in that tournament, right, Jimmy? Why didn't you tell me about it, man? I thought we were bros. Sorry. I did try and contact you. But... you... I hadn't paid your phone bill. Uh, <laughs> Never mind that. This time, Jimmy, me and you and Sakura, we're getting in. And we're gonna show the world just how awesome the Psycho Arts truly are! I don't actually use Psycho Arts. Just watch me, Father! I'm gonna spread Psycho all over the world! Hi! Is Hibiki-san here today? Sakura! Since when do we say hi when we enter a dojo? You know better than that. And start calling me Sensei, too. How many times? Seriously. Uh, okay. Whatever you say, Sensei. Anyway, did you find out anything about you know who? You promised, remember? You were all like, he was an apprentice of mine, so he stops by all the time just to say hi. Oh, uh, yeah, well, uh, you see, you see, the thing is. Let me guess. You didn't hear anything, did you? <laughs> no way, kid. Nobody said that, now did they? <laughs> There's a fighting tournament coming up, see? And word on the street is that Ken Masters will be there. So, you know, I guess, if Ken's gonna be there, I mean, <laughs> chances are your buddy will show up too, right? I mean, I mean, they hang out, right? Oh, I can't wait to see him! Ryu-san! Tiger! Shoryuken changed me forever. First, I was racked with anger, humiliation, impatience. All I could think about was drawing stronger and exacting my revenge. However, during my countless battles, I began to catch a glimpse of something. The meaning of victory, of defeat, of the fight itself. I want to know. I want to know the ultimate purpose of the fight. My scar burns. My fighting spirit grows restless. What is it you see in the ring? Ah, Sagat. It took only one fight to transform you into a sniveling coward. 
I had so much respect for you, but now you are a tiger with no fangs. Look what we have here, if it isn't the former king. I'm looking for something. Something to reignite my spirit. Then what who? Tiger! Destruction! Waits jaguars and tigers who have lost their fangs. When the mere act of living is humiliating, you're finished. Have you forgotten even that much? You've thrown away your pride as a Muay Thai boxer, folded up your claws and called it quits. If that's what's become of you, I'll put you out of your misery myself. Your time in the spotlight is over! Right! Get ready for a cyclone! There's no way a move like that could work. Pro wrestlers are weak. Everyone knows martial artists are better. But Zangief's super strong. Cause like, he can't lose if he uses his new special move. Cry baby, cry baby, you're a lion cry baby. If not, you better prove it. Aha, here's your proof, kids. <laughs> so, is that the move you kids were talking about? Did you see that? I told you the Red Cyclone is the greatest. That's right, kids, I am the best. And I'll prove it to you in the tournament. Just look at all this snow! I'll never be able to make it out of Mother Russia in time for the International Fighting Tournament! I won't let anything stop me! The Red Cyclone is going to the tournament one way or another! And he's going to win! No matter how small the voices of support, it is wrestler's duty to never betray his fans. I will put smiles on the faces of the children of my homeland. I will show them what hard work and ingenuity can accomplish. Hear me, young men of Mother Russia. The Red Cyclone will not let you down! Man, I knew this place would be old, but no one told me it'd be downright ancient. This is no good. I better do something to save this dojo and quick. It could collapse at any minute. The world's most furious fighters will be at this tournament. That must mean the prize money is a pretty penny. That cash could be just what we need. It could fix up the dojo in no time. All right then, here I go. Aw, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was so looking forward to training camp. And now they tell us we can only choose between a boring mountain and an even more boring forest? The only people out there are ghosts. This sucks. I mean, a girl only gets one chance at her youth. I have a right to get out there and meet cool guys. Hey, I've got an idea. I'll just make like I'm headed off to camp, but slip out and have a little fun. <laughs> this is the best idea ever. Sarai? Yeah, listen, I'm gonna be late for camp. I'll meet up with you part way though, okay? Cover for me, will ya? Yeah, just say whatever you think they'll wanna hear. Please, Sarai. Awesome! I'll grab you a souvenir, okay? I promise. Look out, all you handsome guys! Here I come!
after the Federation shut down, this place got burned. <laughs> if I had the money, I'd definitely go check out the real main event. Hi! Having fun? Pro wrestling is totally stupid and cheesy. So why don't you just dance, girly? I've been promoting you two, so don't embarrass me. It's the moment of truth. Show them what you got. It's not as easy as it sounds, boss. There aren't that many of us, and it's hard to handle all ourselves. I heard that Sodom's already quit the business. Gone off to open his own yakitori restaurant or something. You two are such... What are you two little girls gossiping about? Woo Come on! Why don't you dance? Don't hold back! Try and take me! No! Hmm. Interesting. Maybe there'll be some fresh fighting talent. Maybe I'll go do a little scouting. <laughs> Today's the day I turn my life around. I've got a great plan. And believe me, nothing could possibly go wrong. <laughs> we have multiple reports of gang violence. Stand by. Witnesses report ex-members of the Mad Gear gang. A turf war seems to be taking place. We want the big guy! <laughs> <laughs> I want my mama's potatoes! Potatoes! <laughs> <laughs> Hugo? This, this dirt, dirt is, is very cool. cool. But, but look! What comes, comes from, from it grows nice and, nice and big. big. Like, like you. Grow, grow big, big like, like a potato. potato! Hey! Why don't you get up and fight, you blockhead? Or are you just gonna sit there like a potato? Are you going to make fun of potatoes? I'll show you who is number one in the world. Mama! I'll become the big potato! What a shame that a beautiful moonlit night must play host to this feeling of unease. The heroes of this city vanish one by one. In their place crop up dealers of weapons and immoral creatures to prey on the innocents. It pains me to think of the victims of this nightmare city. Those who will never be accounted for, never missed. Their stories will never be told. Yet, when viewed from the lens of history, our struggle is so tiny as to be meaningless. However, I cannot stand idly by and watch as the good suffer and the evil prevail. It is up to me to ensure that our small chapter of history be written by a just and steady hand. The power of Bushinryu shall be my quill. Don't get your panties in a bunch. You'll see me again soon enough. I figured that ridden the city of the Mad Gear would make everybody happy. Not just me. All of us. But this is my reward, huh? Everyone else goes on to live the high life, 
and I get left behind in a prison cell. A city where no one has to fight. A city free from violence. A city without fear. <laughs> yeah, give me a break. I thought I was fighting for peace in this city. Look where it got me. What a drag, man. Would you look at that? <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Looks like we're in for a reunion. Maybe this won't be so boring after all. So, you're going after SIN, are you? Tell me why. Look, I don't need a reason. Seth is an evil man who brings chaos to this world. Cody. Tell me you'll fight him alongside me. <sighs> Sorry, guy. It's like I told you. Fight by myself nowadays. Hey, hey! You looking to fight? Or are you just here to try and rip off this here establishment? <laughs> Doesn't really matter. I'll pulverize you either way. Come on! Oh! Are you done already, baby? I just can't get into your rhythm. I need something way more exciting than that. Hmm. What's this? A worldwide fighting tournament. Sounds like my kind of fun. What the? Oh my god! Well, what do you think? This dish is guaranteed to make you big and strong. It's a big world, El Fuerte. Huge. There are piles of recipes just waiting to be discovered. By collecting the world's great recipes, I'd be one step closer to the ultimate chef. Come to think of it, there's a big international fight tournament coming up. There's bound to be tons of strong fighters there. I ought to fight them, find the strongest ones I can, and find out what it is they eat. Yes, that's the best way to do it. Better to have a solid plan than just search randomly, eh? And I'll get to see just how well my Lucha Libre skills fare against other fighters. All right, I'm gonna do it! The food I make will echo through the Gulf of Mexico like a mighty thunder! The ultimate fighter deserves the ultimate menu. But the road to culinary perfection is long and fraught with peril. Great dangers and trials await, but they will only make me stronger. Many obstacles and walls stand in my path, but I will climb over them, destroy them, lay waste to them, for I am a fighter! I will face underappreciation, bear the weight of oppression upon my shoulders, and will make new friends and hold discussions with them over fine food. No matter what, I will always whip up a meal for my adversaries! All it takes is a can-do attitude and a burning passion to conquer adversity. I will reach my goal. I will ascend into the night sky and reach the stars of ultimate delicacy! Our village has yet to reach its former greatness. Yet it warms my heart to see our sacred land on the way to recovery. People abound, and the voices of children echo among us. The village elder has proposed making me chief, though I am not yet worthy. I cannot bear that mantle. I must forgive my own transgressions to reach that plateau, for I was unable to rescue my darling Julia. I have lost her to the sands of time. Wait for me, Julia. I will retrieve that which I have lost and return victorious to our sacred land!
An international fighting tournament. Hmm. I'm not one to turn down a good bout, but I find this invitation to be lacking in the social graces. Hmm. This garden could use some new roses, couldn't it? Perhaps this is a good time to embark on a trip after all. Mr. Gotch, prepare a reply to this invitation at once. I could use something to get my mind off that blasted missing car anyway. You got strong. Better than last time, Elena. I'm proud. I don't know. The tree. I suppose you've already sensed it. What, father? I have just spoken with the shaman. He says the trees have been making strange noises. A bringer of death walked among us. And he sows his seeds of sadness across the world. A person who brings death? We believe this person is associated with this event. Oh. <laughs> Elena, as the head of our tribe, I'm entering you in this tournament. You are to walk in this world of fighters. Observe them and seek out the truth. Father, it's too dangerous to send her. I understand. Brother, I'll be fine. Mm. I have faith in you. Go and find the answers that we seek. Good luck. less than to save the world. Men, you will push the front and expand the field of battle. With that in mind, each and every one of us will be working hard to increase our fighting skills. Sir, we've just received an urgent piece of intelligence. A private military contractor known as SIN is testing an experimental soldier enhancement system at some sort of fighting tournament. Right, men. You hear that? Opportunity has come knocking at our door. Now, our target's at the World Fighting Tournament. Its name is SIN. Their enhancement system will be ours. Every man will be expected to give 110%. Soldiers, move out! My assignments lately couldn't be more boring. You know, if you don't find some way to occupy me, I might have to sneak off and find my own fun things to do. <laughs> Please, that's not a threat, that's a promise. Uh, I don't think we need to resort to that. Well, I wish you'd open your mouth quicker if you have news like that. Don't keep me in the dark. Ooh, a tournament, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, just to make sure, this thing isn't subject to any rules now, is it? Hmm. Now that sounds like something I can sink my teeth into. No hold bar. Ooh, it's just what every girl wants. <laughs> Jury, that power, that eye, she's no ordinary fighter. She is an untamed animal who seeks to destroy and consume all that enters her sight, and that includes me. Still, 
As long as I can manipulate her like a pawn in my grand game, I shall leave her to her own devices. She has altered her own body in her insatiable quest for power. She respects no law, no morality. She does whatever it takes to achieve her goals and quench her limitless thirst. In that way, she's no different from me. Of course, all of humanity walks that path, whether they admit it or not. Strip away the restrictions of law and common decency, and it becomes clear that the engine that drives humanity is their own selfish ambition. To achieve one's own goals necessitates trampling those of others underfoot. Yet mankind is all too anxious to label those who would do so as evil. What tragic irony. Humanity's defeat at my hands will serve to strengthen me. I will be baptized in the fire of their unabashed ambition and be born anew, ready to usher in a new age, free from the restrictions of artificial morality. <laughs> I can then hunt down this emotionless animal for sport and put her down for good. At the last minute, a fighter named Dan Hibiki managed to squeak by with just enough points to qualify. And also, sir, uh... Out with it. Speak. Among the, uh, more powerful entrants was a mysterious man who managed to completely incapacitate several of his opponents. It seems it was, uh... It's Bison, sir. What was that? Sir, we are looking into it. I will notify you the instant that we know for sure. Whether this is true or not, this information cannot leave this room. Foul ghost. Why have you returned? Something must be done before the old Chateau rises again. I will show the world that Bison is nothing more than a ghost. Soon they will see what true power really is. We need his power if we hope to bring the Bleece Project, our ultimate weapon, to fruition. I got your letter. Looking forward to having a showdown with you at the tournament. Okay. They're holding a tournament to draw in the world's strongest fighters? If it's true, that must mean that the Bleece Project is still going. If they get their hands on his data, Bleece is as good as complete. How many years have we waited for this chance? Still no use. Return it all to nothingness. Master. Another international fighting tournament. And it looks like SIN is behind this one. Can't shake the feeling that something sinister is happening behind the scenes. <laughs> this all feels so familiar. I must be on my guard. Fighting always feels familiar to me. Like coming home. Probably because I've been doing it since I was a child. The fight is a form of communication. It can lead to understanding. It holds a meaning deeper than mere words. Looks like I'll be sparring with a lot of fighters this time. And I expect I'll meet some old friends again as well. Interacting with these fighters will guide me further down the path of becoming the ultimate warrior. Your tireless work in improving the Battlesuit Project has garnered you a good deal of praise among my superiors. Thank you. As you know, before we enter mass production, we would like to test the suit during our upcoming fighting tournament. Am I to understand that you yourself will be entering? There are only so many viable prototype suits available. And I'm the only one that's managed to use it with 100% efficiency. I'd say it's the best option. Your arrogance is reassuring. Your success will result in a recommendation to put you in charge of the Bleece Project, just as you have requested.
materials you ordered are on their way, Crimson Viper. There's been a development. A new fighter has entered the tournament, one that could jeopardize your mission. Good luck. So they found his body too. That means the whole team pursuing Shadaloo has been wiped out. Of course, my investigation will continue as is. Yes, I'm aware of that. Yes. Yes. Understood. Goodbye. So many have lost their lives at the hands of Shadaloo and SIN. They possess weapons and power beyond imagination, and they think very little of human life. They hide in the shadows, moving in the darkness just outside of you. But they've forgotten one thing. Nothing in this world lasts forever. Everything eventually decays and breaks down. I hope you're ready, Seth. And Shadaloo as well. I'm about to pull back the veil and expose you for good. I owe my fallen comrades that much. This disturbance calls out to me. Could it be? like SIN is behind the tournament, and so soon after the Judy incident. Unbelievable. These guys just won't give up, will they? Seth developed Blease, a terrifying new weapon system. Ever since he managed to escape, I knew I'd cross his path again one day. But I never imagined that he'd hold a fighting tournament. Considering SIN's connections to Shadaloo, there's a good chance I could find some clues about my father. Father, I wish I knew more about you. Even though I'll never see you again, I want to know about your struggle, your fight, your last moments. Please keep an eye on me, Father. I promise I'll put an end to their evil plans. I'll make sure no one else ever has to go through what I did. Your daughter has grown into a strong and admirable woman. I've tried to watch over her from the shadows, but I don't have much more time. Damn it! Let go of me! And its and internal, internal frailties. I won't let, let them get away. away. Alone in the darkness, surrounded by the voices of the dead. Again, the same dream. <laughs> what foolishness. No matter the ferocity of your anger or contempt for me, there's nothing you can do to hurt me. You lost that right the instant I stared death in the face. Turned my back. You are powerless against me now. I lived 
fight. Death's embrace is my ultimate destiny. As long as blood courses through my veins, I shall not succumb to the likes of you. I will not allow the putrid dead to so much as touch me. Hold on just one second there, pal. On whose authority did you drag your sorry self here, huh? Surely you know this here is the private residence of Hakan, the oil king of Turkey. Aha! You must be some sort of an industrial spy, is that it? Don't lie to me! That paper you have is all the proof I need. It may look like an ordinary shopping list, but I wasn't born yesterday. It's written in a secret code. Get some fire near it, and the invisible ink shows up, no? You come to steal my trade secrets, so your two-bit employer can dethrone me and take over my market share. I can't believe I was almost violated by a spy like you. If you thought for one second that this would make me give up my dream, of winning a tournament with my very own oil. You are sadly mistaken. It's time to go on the offensive. I'll devise an oil so magnificent that no one can hope to copy it. This is it. The time has come to cover the world in my oil. What's this? Hmm. I honestly thought you'd be taller. You didn't look that short in your file. Watch your mouth! Temper's out of control too, I see. Listen up, lady! You sure you want to start the fight with me? Really sure? I came all this way to see if you were worth recruiting. But I guess not. See you later. Hold it right there! I'm not just gonna let you walk away after that! You'll regret this. Hmm. What could we do to get more people interested in sumo? Hmm. Got it! No way! That makeup! We have to stop him! Can't stop me! Gonna make sumo a worldwide phenomenon! Sorry to bother you on your day off, but I have a mission for you. All right then. Do you recognize this? Of course. These are the bodies of fighters who were killed during experiments for the Bliss Project. And this photo is from India. Here you can see an SIN dam construction site. Take a look at their lapels. Anything look familiar to you? Oh God. Shadowloo. It gets worse. These flyers are popping up all over the world. An international fighting tournament. This investigation will be quite dangerous. I'll be ready for you this time. <laughs> Just leave it to me. I won't be able to see you for a while, I'm afraid. Take good care of yourself now. Do try to stay out of trouble. Shadowloo. S-I-N. They trample on human beings like so much dirt beneath their boots. And now they announce a tournament to assemble the world's greatest fighters? Make no mistake. This time I'll flush you from your hiding places and destroy you. And Judy, I hope you're prepared to feel my hands round your neck. I haven't forgotten about the sisters of my new hurt. Date, 25th. Weather, sunny. Today's training regimen. 100 laps around the deck. 500 push-ups. 500 pull-ups. 500 sit-ups, and 800 squats. Um, what 
else was there? Oh yeah, I swabbed the decks, cooked dinner for the whole crew, and then there was that arm wrestling tournament with Hibiki-san, Blanca, and the captain. <laughs> that was a blast. Have I really gotten stronger? Am I closer to my goal of getting strong like him? Like I used to wish for? He's out there somewhere, under these same stars. It doesn't matter though. I'll get to see him soon enough at the tournament. Hang on, Ryu-san. I'll be there before you know it. Hope you're ready to fly. Dan taught me how to be a better man. I'm gonna win this tournament. If I win, I can earn everyone's respect. Mama will be so proud. Mama always takes such good care of me. Most people are scared of me, but not her. I want to make Mama happy. After all, she's already done that for me. I'll come back a new man, Mama. One you can't be proud of. Just you wait. Well, that's strange. I boarded what I thought was a ship to America in order to spread the joys of sumo. I wonder where I ended up. <clears throat> Whatever. The best way to make new sumo fans all over the world is to show them the real deal up close and personal. And they'll see how fun it is. Go for it. Step into the ring. Attack me as a group if you want. I'm game. <laughs> this is my first time on the international circuit, and it's a blast! If I keep this up, I'm bound to earn tons of fans! Well, if it isn't my old friend, Mr. Honda, how are you, Edmund? Fine! Long time no see! My goodness! How many years has it been? So, what are you doing out here, anyway? Just trying to spread the word about sumo. Gotta show people it's the best technique on Earth. Oh, yeah? Can't say I agree with you there, friend. The best technique out there is Turkish wrestling. Everyone knows that. <clears throat> Maybe we ought to put that to the test. Sounds good. What is this? How are you floating like that? Oh, I know what this is. This must be a new SIN weapon. Interesting. You utilize an unusual move set. It may serve me well to assimilate it. Hey! Just because you devise some new technology doesn't mean you have to act high and mighty. Get down here! I'm going to teach you a lesson about stupidity! Stop wasting my time. Here I come. What? Wh why? We should all be the same. Fifteen. Never call me by my number. My name is Seth. And I am unique. I am not a toy who can only blindly obey Bison's orders. Defy me and perish. That includes you as well as Bison. Hail Seth, our new lord and master. All that I found unpleasant has been purged. From this day forward, I shall rule as Emperor of Planet Earth.
Show yourself, jury! Shadaloo murdered your parents and took your eye, but they are no more. Are you through with your foolish games now, woman? Let's just say I'm almost through. If you're planning to take down me as well as Bison, I'm afraid you've overestimated yourself. Or perhaps you've just come here to test me. Nah. I'll pass. I get the feeling I'll have more fun working for you. Really? Then do what you will. I certainly hope I live up to your expectations, my dear. Say this Joker, Ken Masters, is the best fighter in America? The best fighter in America, and not to mention the best looking, is yours truly, Rufus. Yeah, that's right. I'm the best. Period. Hey, Rufus, what if you just like totally beat the crap out of that Ken dude on TV or something? Then everyone would know for sure who the best really is, right, baby? Right? You are a genius, Candy! <laughs> I knew I made you my girl for a reason, honey pits. I guess we know where we're headed next. Get ready, Kid Masters! Your days are numbered! Phew! Man, why they gotta have these fighting tournaments out in the boonies anyways? <laughs> At this rate, I'll get so much exercise just getting there that I'll end up losing weight and end up looking like some kind of wimp. <laughs> hey, you know, I bet that jerk is behind all of this. It's some kind of conspiracy. Yeah, and speaking of you-know-who, another one of his lookalikes tried to step up to me the other day. Just how low. Is he willing to sink anyway? I mean, how can they just call him the number one fighter in America? Just thinking about it makes my blood boil. I'm number one around here. Uh, but uh, I got too much class to break like that, though. It's you, Candy. With you around, honey pants, I let my mouth run off. And maybe I say too much sometimes. <laughs> Look at me like that, baby. You get my hands sweat, and I'll end up losing control of this here bike. <laughs> You're the best girl in America. But nah, in the world. I screw that. You're the best in the freaking universe. <laughs> if I had to sum you up in just one word, I'd say you're super hot and sexy gorgeous tastic I would. <laughs> what do you say we uh, pit stop for lunch in the next place? Come to think of it. I'm not really seeing any restaurants around here. I don't think I've seen a single friggin' building today, actually. Man, we must really be in the middle of friggin' nowhere. I mean, the gas station attendant was pretty clear, right? I mean, he said, go straight to the intersection, then turn where the white dog is sitting, right? But the dog was just like taking a catnap in the middle of the road. How was I supposed to know which way to go? And who ever heard of a dog that sleeps flat on its back like that anyway? That must have been Ken Masters. He totally knew I would whip his butt in a tournament, so he tried to sabotage me. Oh, you rude this day, Ken Masters. Rude! Yeah, everything's going great. What about you? How'd the test go? <laughs> great. Listen, take it easy, okay? When you go down steps, make sure you... What? Oh... I read in a baby book. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll back off. I love you too, Eliza. I'll call you again later. Just think. Me. My <laughs> dad. It feels like I'm dreaming. I guess it'll all feel pretty real once he's born, though. You and I used to just be plain old fighters, didn't we, Ryu? got married, and now I'm on the road to fatherhood. I wish I could say I felt the same now as I did when we trained together. But things will definitely change from here on out. I'm feeling pretty strange here, Ryo. 
Change is good, but it can be scary too. I wonder what advice you'd have for me. Guess I'll just ask you in person. Sakura! Yeah? Looks like the time has finally come. This is something we fighters must do! Oh. Ready to go? <laughs> I'll make this quick and painless for you, kid. Ryu-san! You? Long time no see. Have you been practicing? <laughs> Why not take me on and find out? All right. Take your shot, kiddo. Okay. Oh. Ah. Oh, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Hey, are you a fighter too? Uh, yeah. Why? Listen, if I beat you in a match, will you introduce me to some cool boys? That's kind of a weird request. Okay. I think I know just the guy. Really? Awesome! Hey you, mister! What is it? Hey, I recognize you. You're that guy from all the martial arts movies. They long, right? Yeah, what about it? If I could beat you, it'd do a lot for Rindokan's reputation. Put up your dukes. No idea what you're talking about, but you're on. Hey, you're Fei Long. Would you fight me? If you insist. Seriously? I won't repeat myself. That move. I've seen it before. Who did you see? Where is he now? A stranger has no business asking me that. That move. How is it that you can do that? You mean my sonic boom? Do you know someone else who can do it? Who did you see? Where is he? I don't even know you, yet you expect me to spill my secrets? to not run away from a fight, Sagat. The power you're after is twisted. Just save it! Everyone will bow before me! I will see them worship me as a god! This path you walk leads nowhere in none. This fight is pointless. <laughs> I've had enough of your empty platitudes! Die! For Nano Rojo! I'm the Red Cyclone, all right, comrade. I am Zengen! 
I am the origin of the Gulf of Mexico! My name is El Fuerte! Ha! Can I cyclone beat a hurricane? <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? Who are you? Me? Who are you? Only bad men hide their faces. Lay off the mask, amigo. I'll show you! How about a fight, amigo? I'm a lot stronger now! You haven't changed. What? That attitude. Looks like I have more to teach you. Hey! I hear you're a chef! What do you say we get a bite after this? Junko Stew will blow you away! Sounds good! What would be the ultimate meal suitable for a great hero? Junko Stew, of course! Oh no! Borscht is best! <laughs> well then! Mixing them together would yield the greatest taste in all history! Now, at a pinch of chili pepper! Voila! El Fuerte Super Duper Hero Mole! And a pint of lemon! Bon appetit! <laughs> ha! It tastes so great, it sends you straight to heaven! What the? Whoa, 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 what? Are you floating? How you doing it? What, ESP? Plasma magnet? This is yoga. What, are you an alien or something? It's like, I'm not sure if you noticed, but, uh, you know there's all those aliens, like the big Martians, for instance? I mean, those crazy Oh! Who the heck what are you? What do we so have here? here? Smiling like a crazy person. Your voice there. has a unique rhythm you to it. You a mine? Or, that or maybe you want to be my new apprentice it's or something, out eh? I'm too busy to do a proper That's simply right fantastic. Now. So let's see what you got. Say, you feel like throwing down. Okay. Come on. So, can mess. At last we meet. This is gonna hurt like nobody's business. This could be interesting. Bring it on, Meatball! Why, yo! Ha! Looks like I finally caught up to you, Blondie! <laughs> you gave me quite the runaround. The fat lady's about to sing, ain't she? Who the heck are you? Why, you little... That's it! Every time, man! Every time! <laughs> I'm sick of this dream, man! All right, man. I get it. You wanna fight me, is that it? Cool. I was just looking for an opponent anyway. Why, you! I'll pulverize you! I'll cut you up! Then I'll put you back together and do it again! Judy, hold it right there! Wow. Back for another beating, officer? Or maybe you've got a little schoolgirl crush. One way or another, you're coming with me. This is gonna be fun.
man. Judy, you'll pay for what you did to my sisters. Let's end this! <laughs> I think you're the only one who's gonna be paying for her sins here. Or did you think you could use your brainwashing to avoid responsibility for what you've done? So, you're SIN's new superstar? I need answers. You're coming with me. Interpol is really mucking things up. Listen, Missy. You need to stay out of our business. What was that? Sorry, but your investigation ends here. You! Stop impeding my investigation! Impeding? That's not very nice. Now you'll get what's coming to you. This is gonna hurt, sister. Does your rudeness know no bounds, sir? Very well, then. Far be it from me to turn down a challenge. And from a fellow pugilist. Balrog! There's nowhere left to run. <laughs> You're the one who's trapped. Now die! Come forward. Again. This time, I'll get you to talk. Come, child. You want to face me? Seeing as who your father is, I won't hold back. We have a borderline reaction. Increase the depth pressure. Depth pressure. 1.4. 1.6. 1 1.8. MBR ready. Area is confirmed. Initiating mental control release. It's all right. It's all right. Kill, kill, kill them all! Kill all! Kill all! Bison? No. What are you doing here? I was but mere moments away from reclaiming the Empire. <laughs> what if I told you everything has gone according to my plan? I'll destroy you. You destroy me? A failure. 
like you? <laughs> Show him what happens to those that dare defy me. I don't think you'll be needing this anymore. I didn't realize he was that weak. He sure talked like he was a tough guy. Ooh. Your eye. It was built by 15, wasn't it? Don't know why you're so worried about where it came from. If I were you, I'd be a hell of a lot more concerned about what I'm gonna do to you with it. <laughs> that you had no intention of following my orders. I was well aware of your impending betrayal. <laughs> You're giving yourself way too much credit. Defeating you was nothing but an added bonus. I just wanted to pit you idiots against each other while I took over. <sighs> You're nothing but a spare body. A change of clothes and bison's wardrobe. You'll pay! Good night, sweet prince. Rest in peace. <laughs> wow. Guess I better find a new hobby. you to come after me yourself. I'd have thought a supervillain would have sent his henchmen instead. Fool. Words have consequences. Oh, man. I was really planning on saving the main course for last. <laughs> Whatever. I'll just eat you up, bones and all. Certainly gotten a lot stronger. <sighs> oh, what am I going to do? The tournament's over, and I never got my hands on a souvenir. I didn't even understand what the last guy was saying before I beat him. Wait! I've got an idea! I have an offer for you. I offer you a glorious death in battle! Sir! Their boss is defeated! Now we shall claim their secrets as our own! Spread out! Search the grounds, sir! You can come back as many times as you want, baby, but you just can't beat me. Wanna know why? Because my rhythm is too funky and fresh for you to deal with! Talk! Your SAN group is responsible for the attacks on my movie crew, right? 
The media represents great power. What fools you are. Never questioning the false reality you are fed. You dance like puppets. However, there are times when the truth is close to being discovered. Why you? How dare you? I crush anything and anyone that I find irksome. It's simply the way I do things. I must hurry. It's you! Being prepared to die in battle is not the same as offering yourself to death willingly. Rose, tell me, do you intend to die today? Guy, I... Just let me pass! Rose? Ryu, you are the last hope. I cannot let you pass. I don't want to fight you, Rose. Neither do I. I've spent so long thinking only of defeating Ryu, feeling like a loser. But now, I realize that winning is of little consequence. What matters is communicating through one's fists. Maybe this is what I really desired all along. You. Your fists were mute. They had no soul. I was once empty like you. Have I changed? Only one man can answer that question. Sagat. In a long time. Hmm. A promise is a promise. Oh! Sagat. I was waiting for an opponent like you. Ready? It's consuming me! Bison has summoned you. What the? Sakura! 
Able. I'm looking for someone who knows who I am. So, you are the imperfect one who fled. You... you know me? Evil. It appears the outside world has softened you. I'll put an end to that right now! Vega? Shouldn't you be dead? Perhaps. I'm a ghost. I don't care if you are. Either way, you're coming with me. Push your little wedge. Now releasing fire retardant gas. This gas is toxic. All personnel, evacuate the facility within the next two minutes. With this data, Shadaloo could live on forever. And of course, my good looks and youth will last forever as well. No! I can't get it open! Guile! Come in! The data! You've got to get it out of here! It'll give you a full picture of the SIN organization. Guile, please come in. Sun Lee, come in! I got the data! Sun Lee, come in! I got the data! Sun Lee! Sun Lee! You almost got away. Ah! Sun Lee is straight ahead! Hurry! Presence annoys me, worm. This time I'll send you straight to hell. More. I want to fight more. Just a bit more. I can almost remember. Fight me. No need to remember such trivial nonsense. You miserable failure. Abel, <laughs> my how you grow. We shall meet again. Maybe you were a little too good at your job. Your duties to SIN were performed flawlessly. You gathered information quickly and exercised good judgment. Yes. Almost as if you had your own organization working behind the scenes to help you. Like... the I've scene. had enough of your mouth. Say goodnight. I'm honored to finally meet you in person. I don't know who you are, nor do I care. Your technology, however, intrigues me. Bestow it upon me, and I may let you live. Sorry, but it's not mine to give. Very well. Then, die. I won't be the one to die today. Who are you? Who wants to know? Funny. Chun-Li told me someone was getting in her way. Is that so? Out of my way! Boiling liquid expanding cell explosion. Bleece. Wait. 
Is this the same psychopower that Bison used to brainwash me? If this research continues, it could be used to do to others what was done to me. There you go, kid. Nice and easy. Get your fingers away from that key. What's done is done. It's over. Years of investigation down the drain. Ready to complete termination of prime objective. DiCapri! <laughs> Killer B! I knew it. He can't control you. Control! You don't know anything. You liar! I hate you! Hate you! Hate you! Hate you! I hate you. I hate your face. I will kill you for it. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Kill you. Kill you. But you're... This was never coincidence. <laughs> She's going to die. Don't you dare. But perhaps some kind of bargain could be made. Does it hurt? It's all right. It's all right. Spending your last moment staring into your own face. Interesting. Excellent fodder for my insatiable spirit. Damn it! There's gotta be some treasure around here somewhere! You two, careful. Even with my awesome power, we may not be able to stand up to the next wave. Let's get out of here, quick. Hey. You're early. Well, you know me. Let's go! Hut.
faster. Taking it, he has awakened. You've sealed off his power. How dare you! Raising demon! The power of nothingness. Interesting. Let this be a fight to the death. The winner claims the cub. なぜ力を恐れるなぜ意のままにしようとせんこの
Still haven't transcended humanity, huh? You lack discipline! You haven't transcended your humanity! You've thrown it away! <laughs> Prepare to meet your maker! I witnessed the moment in which life and death embraced. Death is powerful. Disobeyed orders. I destroyed the Blee Stator, sir. I was monitoring your every move from here. Well done. Hey! 
Yes? What can you do, anyway? Like what? If you're supposed to be a replacement body for him, you gotta do something. Can you fly or see the future or what? I I'm sorry. By myself, I... You can't do nothing by yourself, huh? Even more worthless than I thought. <laughs> well, I saved you. So you better do something for me. Damage. Put the girl down. Put her down and I'll let you walk away. What was that? Don't you dare try anything. Or I'll use my ninja blades to make short work of you and your vehicle. <sighs> what insolence. Do. Wake up. Don't you dare give in to the specter of death. I won't let you die here. The world needs you, Rose. It's vulnerable without your protection. Rose! Not you again. The world is simply what it is. This is from the teachings of Bushinryu. Somehow, you rail against this teaching without even knowing it. Cody, you have vanquished a great evil. I believe this means that you must still hold some shred of goodness in your heart. I know that in your soul, there remains a disdain for those who seek destruction. Nah, he was just in my way, that's all. I took him down because he was bothering me. <sighs> then I take it you have no intention of returning. Returning? Yeah, I'll return all right. To my cell. That's where I belong. She is a shell of her former self. If that is not enough to dissuade you, I will tell you where she is. She's looking outside again, as if she's waiting for someone. She must really believe that someone will come for her. She's lost her memories, her ability to speak, to laugh. She can't even cry. Nothing can take that away. It was a vicious fight indeed. Each man was prepared to give up the ghost what was to be their ultimate battle. Now it is time for me to return to my own fight to the death. The only reason I still draw breath. <laughs>
Sveikiga! Kuratsuha! Master! Master Gokin! I know you can hear me. Master! Just slow down, will ya? Give us a break, Master. I tried to just disappear without saying goodbye again. T tell him, Ryu. Okay. It was good to see you again, Master. Oh, man. Why do you call me that? You're both grown men now. You hardly need a master. Or would you rather I order you to the well to gather water? <laughs> yeah, that was hard work. <laughs> That's not funny! <laughs> you losers! Need a tow there, friend? Yeah, I don't need no tow. This is all part of my training. Really? Well, whatever. See ya. Seriously, baby, why don't I just help you push? Let it be faster than this. Don't you move. Like I said, I'm training here. <laughs> this is all your fault. <laughs> Can master! Where'd you say you pushed this thing from? I mean, geez, <laughs> this is one heavy bike. God doubt I could get it a couple hundred feet myself. Well, my Rufus ain't no ordinary man. He's the best fighter in America, you know. And he's a gentleman. Pushing me around is no big deal to him, right, Rufus? Ow. 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 Ah. That's right. When I get serious, I can push a bike like that around the world seven times over. Of course, I rolled up my sleeve and fixed her a while back. She can go anywhere now. But uh, just riding around ain't gonna give me the thrills I'm after. Oh, Rufus, I just adore ya! Vroom, vroom, vroom. Time to hit the road, Candy. Where you wanna go? Hmm, let me see. I'm getting a little tired of this desert heat. Got it! Wanna check out the North Pole, baby? I like the way you think, Puddin' Pants. That's the greatest idea I've ever heard! I know, right? But I've never been to the North Pole before. You know how to get there, baby? Come on, Candy. That's a no-brainer. All we gotta do is head due north. You can't go any further north than the North Pole, right? Wow! You're like some kind of genius! Thank you so much, Ryu-san. It was really awesome getting to fight you again. Yeah, you too. Let's do it again soon. All right. Hey, Sakura! Better get on board before we leave you behind, kid! Uh, I I'm coming! Well, bye then. Take care. Bye! We'll meet again! I promise! Eliza, I'm home. Welcome back, Ken. Was everything all right? How do you feel? Fine. Same goes for the bun in the oven. No problems at all. Well, did you get to see Ryu? Yeah, but we had our hands full with the other fights. Couldn't give it our all. Still, it was good to spar with him again. Great. Oh, hey. Oh, nice kick. This one's destined to be a better fighter than dear old dad. <laughs> sure is. Sure is. Fifteen has been eliminated. I'll file the paperwork when I get back. The remaining 26 are in my sights. Roger that. Consider them taken care of.
What do we have here? Looks like a baby. But I've never seen a baby this big before. Mommy, I love you. I love you too, Lauren. Well then, Mr. Honda. Let us meet again in your homeland. Just don't expect me to lose next time. Quite a grip on that one, let me tell you. With a grip like that, he could go far in the world of Turkish wrestling. <laughs> and that oily top knot! <laughs> what a character that man is! You know, he made mention of the various oils available in the land of the rising sun. Mm. Ah, there you are! Make preparations at once! We need to go to Japan! It is a fascinating and oily place, populated by sumo wrestlers! This is the first step on my way to becoming the oil king of a new land! <laughs> Osaki, how do you plan to make it up to the fans for abandoning the sumo circuit? So, the prodigal son returns. Until you finish up the season, you won't be setting foot on Japanese soil! Bring it on! I'll take on every one of you! Look out, Olympics! Here I come! <laughs> oh dear, where'd that big lug get off to this time? Uh, this is no good! Hey, you two. I don't see Honda around. You didn't let him wander off again, did you? <laughs> The only way to get sumo in the Olympics is to join the committee myself! Hey, that's the bad guy from the TV! Awesome! Nobody beats the Red Cyclone! He's the best! <laughs> Sagat! Welcome back! You're back so soon. Calm down, you two. He's only just returned. Don't be a bother. Uh, it's all right. How was your journey? You know, I actually had fun. You actually had fun? Let's just say I met an old friend. But make no mistake, you have been declawed and dethroned. <laughs> I will never become what you have, Sagat. I will destroy all who climb into the ring with me. I will show the world the power of Muay Thai. And most importantly, I will show them that my skills in the art are without equal. <laughs>
Hugo, do you want to work with me? Nein! I'm not taking orders anymore! But I can help make you into a superstar! We'd be partners. I mean, you're strong and all, but you got the smarts of a potato. Huh? Hugo, grow big like a potato! Alright, I get it. Do what you gotta do. Guess I'm gonna take off then. If I stay any longer, I'll turn into a potato. Yeah. Poison! You think that I'm a potato? Uh, well... I guess you kind of look like a potato. I mean, you're big and... Ah! Whoa there, what do you think you're doing? Put me down! Put me down now! Nine. I'm not taking any more orders! What orders? You're not making any sense! What are you talking Boys about? Poison can become a potato too! Uh, what do you mean I'm hey. a potato too? Well... You and me, we're going to be number one! Why has a group of fighters formed a rock band? Because we want to show people the true spirit of our life's work. Music is something the world has in common. Music and martial arts are the perfect tag team. What the heck is this green liquid supposed to be? <laughs> well... This is a great new ingredient that a sumo wrestler friend told me about on my journey. It's called... Aujiru. It's packed with nutrients and keeps both the body and the mind healthy. It's clearly green, but the Japanese call it blue juice for some reason. Or this? Spare me the explanation, Professor. Why the heck are you putting it in chili soup? You sure you're even supposed to heat that stuff up? Huh? Oh. What are you, Poco Loco? Adding one delicious thing to another delicious thing always equals more deliciousness. Are you cooking or doing algebra? I'm not sure I trust either in your hands. Ah, ha, I got it! If I made it a little bit sweeter, it'd go down a lot easier. I just had some chocolate I got from that French mercenary. <laughs> You're just gonna make it worse! I'm super late! I gotta get moving! Oh, crap. Looks like the morning meeting's already started. Oh, I guess it's time to put my ninja skills to work. So, that's the plan for today. Practicing throwing off pursuers, utilizing rivers, followed by nighttime drills without the aid of blades or explosives. You'll all need to check over your equipment first and... Over there! Be careful up there, 
sis? That's a big drop. Man, looks like I screwed up this time. I beat the pants off the other fighters in the tournament, but walked away empty-handed. I was happy to fight such strong opponents and all, but I'd be happier if I managed to make a little pocket money. It's just my luck. Yeah, I think I'll lay off the get-rich-quick schemes and try to make money the old-fashioned way from here on in. Like... Maybe if I could get this old window con dojo back up and running, maybe I can make a name for myself. Another mess I've got myself into. It was an eventful journey, to be sure. But I was unable to procure the new roses I was after. It is a shame, sir. Hmm? What's this? Hmm. It appears to be a wild rose. But how did it get here? This is simply exquisite, Mr. Gotch. Hmm. No matter what great strides mankind has made in design, nothing compares to the beauty of a natural flower. But of course, sir. <gasps> Naughty kitty. How's our patient doing? Any pain or discomfort? Where... Where am I? Don't worry. Amnesia can be alarming. Trust me, I know. But I'm here for you. It's you. Yes. That's right. I'm here to help you. Actually, we'll both be watching over you. <laughs> What an adventure. I don't really get the whole world domination angle, but you gotta admit, we got to see a lot of cool places, huh? Sure it was fun, Yoon, but we're almost home. Better start thinking up some kind of explanation, and fast. An explanation? Hey, hmm? you two, Yoon and Yang. What were you thinking just disappearing without telling anyone? Well? Crap! It's Hoi Mei. Don't you run away from me! Hey! All right. <laughs> Come on, give me a break, Yang! Ow, ow! Hey! Come hey, with me, ow. young man! Your uncles are gonna wanna have a word with you! Oh, 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 oh! Ow! Hey, hey! That smarts! Yang! chun -Li, Leaving already? Yep. <laughs> I heard you took off without telling anyone. You're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> already did. But it was a good experience. I never would have gotten to fight such strong opponents if I'd stayed in this town. <laughs> good for you. So, this is goodbye. I need to pay my respects to Master Lee. I just want to say thanks again for your help. Both of you. No problem. You can always count on us, Chen Li. Stop by any time. Don't hold my bro's screw-ups against us. He's a bit slow. Dude! What was that? <laughs> we'll meet again. Bye now. <laughs> That's a promise. You ready? Yeah. You know, everything that I've accomplished in my life, I thought I had done it for my father. But now, 
I think there was more to it than that. After all is said and done, I think I was also doing it for myself. There's so much more I could be doing. I owe it to myself. That's why I've decided to keep being a cop for now. Sounds good. It's been a while since I've been here, Charlie. Sorry. I hope this makes you feel better. We managed to put an end to SIN's plans. But still, something tells me we haven't seen the last of Shadowloo just yet. It's not time for a toast just yet, old friend. The day will come when our mission is complete. Thank you for the ride, Chan Li. No problem. So what are you gonna do now? <laughs> what will I do? I've been thinking I might travel once things settle down. There's still a lot of mysteries that I need to get to the bottom of. The man who rescued me, the man with my face. But first, I think it's time for me to just head home. Yeah. Well... Good luck, Abel. Good to be home. Taylor! It's you. Your name was Abel, right? Listen, I had a talk with your manager. He told me you're investigating Seth his recent demise. I am. Why? Do you have information for me? That depends. I want to make sure you know what you're getting into. SIN's relationship with Shadowloo is dangerous. Deadly, even. <laughs> Not a problem. You know, I had a feeling you'd say that. So let's get down to business. Where should I begin? Congratulations, Master Dalsim! It's from Amy! Daddy just got back from a difficult job. We'll throw him a party tonight. Your friend, Amy. I wonder what kind of party. I bet it'll be really fancy. This looks like more fun than any party! The water's so pretty! Shadaloo. And S-I-N. You toy with life and try to manipulate nature to your own selfish ends. I know that evil will never truly be vanquished from this earth. And sometimes seems an endless gaping void. But still... Father! I retain my hope in humanity. For the goodness in mankind's heart is also endless. <laughs> Father, I am well. I have made so many new friends. <laughs> of course, we all had to fight at the beginning, but they are still very nice. I've realized that these feelings of closeness... <laughs> if I can become friends with these people, then I can become friends with anybody. Father, I want to travel. I want to see everything there is to see in the world. I want to meet people from every country there is. Finally, I have found what I've been searching for. For my next trip, I shall be going to Japan! That's right! The 
Psycho Dojo is now accepting applicants. Witness the Psycho Arts as developed by world famous fighter Dan Hibiki. Everyone from high school hotties to Brazilian beastmen has benefited from his awesome instruction. Get in on the ground floor of the hottest martial art ever devised. Dan Hibiki has won fans the world over, earning stardom not just from his skills, but from his incredible good looks and personality. Don't pass up on this chance to take orders directly from this superstar demigod. Act now and receive a 50% discount on your enrollment fee. But wait, that's not all. Mention this ad when you apply and receive a Psycho t-shirt and a pair of tree trimming shears absolutely free. Wear the shirt while you trim trees, and you'll be beating the neighborhood cougars off with a stick. Don't wait. Call to, uh... Actually, just drop right on in. Dear Mama, I'm in Hong Kong. Jimmy. Jimmy! Mama, what are you doing here? Oh, Jimmy. I just love spending time with you. It makes me so happy. Let's go home now, sweetheart. People still stare at me sometimes, but I don't let it get to me. It's okay to make mistakes once in a while. As long as I get to spend time with my mama, everything will be just fine. Hello? What the? Uh, Hibiki-san! What happened? Are you okay? No one. Huh? No new applicants! Not one! And I did that rag commercial and everything! Was it the time slot? 3 a.m. too late? Should I included some, some miracle detergent or something? Uh... Hibiki-san, you told people to come to the dojo to apply. Well, that's not my fault. My phone service got cut. No, I mean... You didn't include an address or anything in the commercial. So exactly how are people supposed to find you? Uh. Ah! Jimmy, you have company. What company? That's right. These folks saw the article about you and wanted to meet you in person. Me? Well, Jimmy, looks like we finally made some friends. Why don't you bring some fruit for our guests? I'll go put some tea on. He's so small. Congratulations, Mom. We were waiting for you, kiddo. Welcome to the Masters family. This place hasn't changed. In my travels, I fought many formidable opponents. I'm curious, have I become stronger thanks to them? Adoken! <laughs> Till next time.